Hi everyone, it's Bonnie from www.bonniestamped.com. I wanna share with you a cute card I made for my class this last week. It's simple to reproduce, so that's why I wanted to make a quick video so that you could have it on your files to go back for reference. I definitely plan on using this simple card over and over, so you may see it again. I have Christmas Club this week and I think I'm going to use it for that. So the stamp set I'm using is the Color and Contour, followed by the cute little scallop contour dies that are included with this bundle. I love this little frame because it's scalloped and it has some stitchery in it. It is in the new annual catalog along with this beautiful, gorgeous grape ribbon. And of course I use stamping blends in Highland Heather and Just Jade. And what else can I share with you? Not much more except for how to create the card. So let's get started. Grab your trimmer and I'm gonna show you how cute to make this cute, little fun fold card. I saw it online, not gonna lie, um, inspired by another demonstrator, and I did tweak it, you know, adding a few elements and changing up the style just slightly, but it's super cute that why can't I share it with you so that you guys have it for reference. Okay, so grab your Stampin' Up! trimmer, and you are going to take your basic white cardstock, and you're gonna place it in your trimmer, and you're going to cut off the bottom by a half an inch. So this is at 10 and a half, and then this is at four inches. So I've already cut mine, so it's four inches, and then I already cut off the two, in, the half inch on the bottom. I'm going to score it at five and a quarter. Then I'm going to drag it so I can cut it. I'm gonna cut at one and a half to create this. Then I'm gonna slide this over to two and a quarter, cut again. And I have this for scrap paper to use for my sentiments. And then I've already scored it, so I'm done cutting, I'm done scoring. I'm just going to show you, I'm gonna fold over this little flap. So my white base is done. The other piece that you need is just a card base here. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's, that <laughs> then you're going to have this that's going to be layered on top and I'm going to show you how to assemble the card in a second I've already die cut my scallop pieces here so there's my little scallop now my pattern paper is black and white on one side and on the other side is this beautiful misty moonlight print now you might be wondering where this cute paper came from well, it came from our annual catalog in the host reward section. We have a package of paper that has oh so many patterns that if you are a hostess or if you spend $150, you can collect this for free. It is called Patty, Patty, <laughs> Pattern Party Designer Series Paper. I keep calling it Party Pattern, Pattern Party. Now I'm calling it Patty, but it's oh so cute. All colors on one side. And then on the back side, you got some beautiful black and white prints. Definitely worth if you have a catalog party, an at home party, um, a virtual party, whatever you may, or if you place a single order of $150 or more, you can purchase this packet of paper. Okay, so these little strips of designer series paper, if you don't have that pattern, it's fine, you can use any pattern paper, you can use any card base, you can find any ribbon to all coordinate using Stampin' Up! products. So this is one and a half by four. Like I said, I plan on using this design in my uh, Christmas card club this week. Okay, so how did I create my card? Super simple. So here's my scalloped centerpiece. I already have my stamp on a block. I'm gonna grab a memento ink going to ink that just like that and then I am going to you could do it two ways like I did a little bit on an angle or you can do it straight up and down I'm gonna go a little bit on an angle kind of like that then you just press straight down and voila now the trick is not to get ink on your hands I get my ink on my hands all the time. All right, I'm just gonna move that over. 
So next, I'm just going to take my Just Jade Blue Ends. Now you can use any colors. I just happen to use Just Jade because I like this color. And I'm going to use the lighter one, the darker one first. I seem to always go for the darker one, just coloring the leaves a little bit. No rhyme or reason. I'm going to zoom in so you can kind of see that I'm just staying within the lines, but I'm really not coloring. Then I'm going to take my lighter one and I'm going to color over where I colored with the dark to hopefully create some contrast. Sometimes it's hard to see on the video. Let me just go like that. Let me just go like that. And you know what? I'm going to just color in there too because I want to. Next, the Highland Heather. I am using the marker part of the brush. There are two tips on these stamping blends and we have oh so many colors i wish we had every color of course but you can just see i'm just randomly selecting where i want to put some dark i'm not the master of this but i do like how mine come out so i just continue to do what i'm doing i am going to take the brush side here and I'm going to color directly over where I went with the darker color. Now, it will change once the ink dries. And I will say the brush side always gets more abused, as you can see. You try to be dainty. And then, unfortunately, sometimes in classes, people just don't realize how delicate the tips are. But I'm just calling directly over where I put those. I'm afraid with that little bud up there. So I'm going to change marker tips there. And I mean, I can do the same thing here. Now, when I color over the dark, I try to do circular motion. And I'm going right over it. Right over it so that it blends. Hence, stamping blends. I hope everyone's having a great summer. It's going fast. I can't even believe like next week is August. So there, I'm not even going to go and grab my color lifter because I kind of like how it looks just like that. And to be honest with you, I'm just going to kind of smush over this again. So what do you think? Pretty simple, pretty quick. Now, I forgot to mention you needed one more piece of paper. Let me zoom out here. So I cut this little tiny piece of paper and it's two inches you can't see, but it's two inches by two and a quarter. And the reason why is because I want to go like this. I want to take my stamp and seal. Oops, I need a new one. I did try, try this video before and guess what? My seal broke, which upset me, of course, like halfway through my video. So I'm grabbing another one. And I'm going to sit down here. So out of practice with these videos. I say that every time because I do like one a month now. I was so good at one time doing like one a week. Okay. So put my seal back in. And let's start this little puppy. So just going to put some seal here. Like so. And I'm going to take this square. Or a little bit off from a square. And place it directly over where... My blends were. Now you may be asking me why am I doing that? Well let me show you. When you open up the card this is what you see. The back side. So in my original card look you could see. So when I always make two of every card for my classes because I do try to tweak them. Sometimes I can tweak them sometimes I can't. Sometimes tweaking them just means changing out the color. But I didn't like that you could see this when you opened up the card. So I did a quick fix and I just added that little square of paper to the back of my card. So, we are ready to assemble this card. Here we go. So now you have those two strips of one and a half by four designer series paper. I'm gonna put some seal on this. I'm always advancing it. Does someone have a good trick? I think I have a trick and then it never works. I'm going to place my paper right here. Oops. 
just like so. Mark it down. I'm going to, on the back here, sometimes, okay, I'm gonna get my card base. Yeah, I have little pieces of glue on my fingers, which I guess is better than ink. Usually it's ink on my fingers. And I'm going to place this on my card base. Now again, you could do any color flower. I just happen to be very drawn to that gorgeous grape. And I love that ribbon, so that is why I have it. But we're gonna finish doing the card and I'm gonna do the, the mascara part of the card last. I'm gonna put on this little strip now. Like so, goes right there. Okay, perfect. So now my card is ready. You're going to place this here, right at the bottom of your paper. Okay, so it looks like, don't attach it yet. I'm just going to grab my dimensionals, which I thought I had, but I didn't. Okay. So what I want you to do is put a dimensional here and put a dimensional there. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see. And now I'm gonna take a dimensional here and another dimensional here. I'm gonna take them off, right? Make sure that make sure that this guy stays in line with your card bottom, you know, the bottom of your card. So it goes like right there. I'm gonna get my Zoom out a little bit. Take this, and I am going to place it over the dimensionals. Now watch what happens. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> Look, so now your card is perfect. It's lined up. It's all ready for the finishing touches. The backside, you can't see. You could have moved this down. Um, I guess what I should have done, I'm, I'm taking it off to show you because I didn't like that. I didn't notice that. Let me see if I can just, see there's, no one's perfect when making crafts, right? <laughs> I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this down a little bit lower because I didn't like that it was like half showing, so that's better for me. Okay, put this here, oops, sorry. Put this here and hopefully that looks better much better yay so see it was a quick fix i did it right on on live for you okay so now all that's missing is my sentiment and my ribbon so let me grab that scrap paper and let me grab my gorgeous grape ink and let me grab thanks for everything i mean inked it up I'm going to stamp, put that there. I am cheating. I am using my one and three fourths circle punch. I'm gonna punch that out. I love our punches. <laughs> love them, love them, love them. And then we have a two inch circle punch. I'm gonna punch that out as well. And I'm going to then get my seal. You know, it's always right in front of me and I can never find it. Do you ever find that? Go like this, go like this, go like that. Going to place this right here. I'm gonna grab some dimensionals and I'm gonna place one right here and right here. And I'm going to put one probably right there. And then I'm gonna place this right there. <laughs> so we have my card and the only thing that's missing is the ribbon. Now everybody always is like, I can't tie bows. How do you do it? I don't understand, I don't get it. Well, I'm gonna leave it attached, okay? And I'm going to take the ribbon, make sure it's flat back here, okay? I'm going to drag it here. I'm going to leave it attached for two seconds. <laughs> I am going to cut it off. And watch, guess what? Oh, I do have scissors here. Yay for me. Okay. All right. So 
I'm estimating here. That seems good. We're gonna cut off. All right. So, make sure it's flat. Are you ready? The bow making. So I'm gonna twist it now. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Maybe this will help. So what I do, I'm right-handed. I don't know if that'll help, but I do right over left, or no, left over right, and bring it under, okay? I'm gonna use my middle finger to hold it down for a second. And I am going to make a loop. So I've made a loop with my pointer and my thumb, and I'm holding down where they crossed over. I'm going to take the top string and wrap it around my index finger, okay? See if you can kind of see that. Let me move over, okay? And I've created like where a hole where my finger is. So when I move my finger out, I'm gonna push that through to grab my bow, okay? And then I'm gonna tighten it, pull on the tails like so. And guess what? I have my bow. I'm gonna cut this off. Now I will say some ribbons are better than other ribbons. This gorgeous grape one works perfect. And it's just so pretty, I think. Okay, let me zoom out and there's my card. I really hope you like this fun fold card. It's simple, it's easy to create. How cute would it look with a Christmas tree and a Merry Christmas, which like I said, I have class and I'm going to create some holiday cards later today. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, I'm always available and I would love to help you with your stamping projects. Have a wonderful day.